hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing today i just wanted to give you guys an update on my current household um, a lot has happened since my last video i think in my last video jenna had became a toddler well now she is a full-blown teenager and um like i said a lot has happened so i'm going to try my best to recap you guys uh if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment we have emily here as you can see she is now an elder a little bit about emily she her goal was to become a patron of the arts which she has completed right now she is level 29 and she makes 720 dollars an hour emily's life i think turned out the way she wanted it to my goal was for her to have one child, which she did, which is Jenna. But throughout her life, I also had wanted her to possibly have a second child. But unfortunately, she just it just didn't happen. Um, also, uh, you may have noticed that Emily is looking a little slimmer. I decided to uh, put her on the Ozempic program. So that is why you will see that she has slimmed down a bit. Now, Jenna, on the other hand, I mean, I must say she's had a very, very good childhood, I would say. Jenna is honestly a star child. Like, she's so good at so many things. And as you know, we are completing the achievements. And for Jenna, we want her to be at the top of the secret agent career. So the uh, two traits that she, or the two skills that she needs to develop is charisma and logic. This is what happened. She not only reached level 10 in charisma and logic, she also reached level 10 in research and debate. So because of that, I decided to enroll her in college earlier. So I cheated the game a little bit. So technically it still shows that she's in high school, which is really crazy. It still shows that she's in high school, but I did enroll her in the Foxbury Institute and she is working on a degree in psychology. So she just started, she just started yesterday. So she still has some ways to go, but I think the fact that she's developed all of these skills and maxed out the most important skills she needs for her career is a really big stepping stone into uh, completing this achievement. That is pretty much no. the gist of Definitely everything addition. that has been going on. I'm oh. hoping I didn't forget yeah. anything too important, but yeah, that is pretty much what's been going on in the game. That is what you guys have missed. Oh, Clay wants to go out on a date? Okay, this is, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna accept because, so like I said, uh, in the beginning of the video, we broke up with Clay, like, and Clay took it pretty okay. He wasn't as mad as Mackenzie, but he just asked us out on a date. So absolutely, we're going to go because why not? Okay, so we're on a date at Mishu Mishuno Meadows. <laughs> So yeah, this is Clay. He's, you know, your typical... Let's Is he in a relationship? Maybe we can have him convince him to break up with other Sims. But yeah, break up with Catalina. Okay, we're going to we're going to convince him to break up with her again. Let's see. Break up with your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, cuz I'm bored. Okay. He says, you're right, I can do so much better than her. I'm going to break up with Catalina tonight. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, where did he go? Did he leave? Oh, okay. I guess he's really going <laughs> to he's gonna go break up with her tonight. He was serious. Okay. He said, yeah, you're right. I don't need to be with her. Oh, okay. Jenna is awake. It feels like forever since Jenna has been romantic with her partner. Okay, which which partner though? Which which one, Jenna? The wedding starts at twelve, so we have a little bit of time for Jenna to get some homework done, do a little bit of studying before the wedding. Because I mean, really, there isn't much preparation to do. It's crazy. We're gonna have another person move into the household, and this is this is new because you know it's always been Emily and Jenna. We've never had a third person, so. Now Jenna's going to have a father figure in the house and I mean her mother she won't feel bad when she moves out because her mom will have someone there so it it you know kind of works out 
pretty nicely. I'm kind of excited for today, you know? Okay, the wedding starts in one hour. Let me just check their needs and make sure everyone is in tip-top shape. Yeah, everything's looking good. Okay, so here we are at the wedding. Everyone is dressed very interestingly. You know, let's just get right to the wedding. I'm not even going to waste time. Let's get them married like right now. Oh, isn't that that's a nice pink wait? Let's wait, let, let's pause for a minute. Isn't oh I wish you had put some jewelry. I mean I could fix it, but I don't feel like it. That's really that's a nice a pink dress that's suitable, I think. Let's see, where's Bruce? Is he running? Oh he's oh Bruce's already there. Look at Bruce. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I don't think you guys have met Bruce. So this is Bruce. So this is Bruce. This is Emily. They're getting married. Oh, let's see. Is anyone gonna come watch? Y'all better come and watch this wedding. At least Jenna. Hello, Jenna. Where's Jenna? At the sink. Girl, come watch your parents get married. Come to watch the wedding. Come sit down here. Oh, look at them. Everyone's coming. Everyone's watching the wedding. Okay, let me stop. Aw. I hope he has money. I didn't even check. Go, Bruce. Go, Bruce. Go, Bruce. Well, that is a gold wedding, if I say so myself. <laughs> So now the party can really begin. Let's dance. It's gonna be okay. Da do do and just dance. That record fade. Da da do do and just dance. All right. So it says here, just married. Congratulations on your new marriage. Would you like to move in together now? Absolutely. Bruce does have one hundred twelve thousand dollars, which should bring us to our two million. <laughs> 2 million mark unfortunately we're leaving them with zero but i don't think it will affect them we'll move bruce over here and we are done okay so we're finally home from the wedding i'm going to go ahead and assign the uh bed to um oops give bruce his side of the bed the right side will be for bruce let's see like what's going on in his Somology. So he is an elder, he's an introvert, he's 40, he's ambitious. He oh he has an economics degree. Oh he's educated. Okay. He likes the color blue, winter holiday music, and he likes painting. Oh that's perfect because Emily likes painting. Okay, he has 60 days um to live. Oh, and here's his degree. Oh, okay. And he got uh is it a distinguished degree? Oh, without honors. That's all right. You still got a degree. Let's put your degree. It's kind of dark in here, but this is Emily's degree right here. So we're gonna put Bruce's degree right under we can't see it when it's under the piano. Um, hold on. Let me get like a let me pick a nice spot in the bedroom. Maybe we'll put yours over here. Oh, actually, let's move both of yours. We'll put his here, hers here, and we'll put his on this side. Oh, twinning. So his daughter is a child. I did not know that. I thought he had a daughter with Nina, but apparently they didn't have any children together. So Shania Capricosa is his daughter. So at some point, we'll invite her over to the house so she can meet her. Oh, snap. Now, her, now him and Nina aren't good friends. It's very complicated, yikes. I'm sorry, Nina, but you know, I saw it go sometime. But wait a minute, isn't this interesting? So, Bruce had a relationship with Emily and a relationship with Blair at one point? Because remember, Blair is Emily's sister. <gasps> she sees her as extremely attractive. Ooh. And he only sees Emily as very attractive oh it sounds like bruce married the wrong sister interesting interesting stuff but that is going to end today's video if you like what you saw please leave a comment down below like uh, like the video and subscribe for more i try to put out videos every friday every other friday so definitely stay tuned and thanks so much for watching